Jeff High Theater to be on Fox 41. Good morning. It's Thursday, March the 4th, and I'm Chloe Franklin. Distracted Driving Simulator, a success for Sad Club. Good morning. I'm Rebecca Wolfley. The JHS Report is coming up. Club sponsored a distracted driving simulator during lunches in the Commons yesterday. JHS reporter Chaz Hodo Davis has the story. Because of the fact that teen car crash rating is going up yearly, the Drive Smart Buckle Up crew from Kentucky Highway Safety is here to do a simulator on teens texting while driving. Um, what we've come here today basically to do is um, show our what we call our D2 simulator. It's our distracted driving simulator um, and it is basically a virtual reality driving simulator that we use to put distractions in front of people to show them how their driving behaviors can change and what can do especially if you have a cell phone in your hand and you get involved with texting and driving since that has become such a huge issue now uh, we just are trying to get the word out trying to get awareness out and you know let people notice what's going on and hopefully maybe they'll they'll change their habits of you know relying on that cell phone being in their hand at all times especially when you know they're behind the wheel of a car how do you feel about the simulator and uh, is it going to have any effects or impact on you and your driving experiences? Some of it's kind of really whack because the person in the other lane will just out of nowhere just turn into your lane and hit you head on like on a moped or something. But I mean anything could happen in real life so I understand what that's supposed to be. But I don't really text while I drive anyways so it just showed the reason why I wouldn't to begin with. And for the JHS report, I'm Chad Soto Davis. Fox 41 will do a live broadcast on Fox in the morning from the Jeffersonville High School stage on Wednesday, March the 10th, in the conjunction with the opening of Once Upon a Mattress. The show will run from 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. All junior class dues are past due. Please pay to Mrs. Snelling or Mrs. Rector or a junior class officer. After school tutoring will be to today in the library from 2.20 to 3.20. Miss Austin will be super supervising. Mandatory tech club meeting will be today after school in room 601. Art Club meets today after school to produce items for the Devil's Den. To get your announcement on the JHS report, simply fill out the form located in the front office or have a staff member email Mr. Gross and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have your latest Jeff High weather plus your latest Jeff High sports right after the break. Hungry? Why not try Moby Dick Seafood, 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Voted best seafood in Clark County. Feed two or more with a box for two or more for only $14.69. Seven days a week, dine in, carry out, or drive through. A clean, comfortable restaurant for the entire family. Open till 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop in and have a whale of a sandwich. Good morning, I'm Kevin Hawkins with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, partly sunny, high around 43. Tonight, mostly clear, low 27. Tomorrow, mostly sunny and warmer, high around 47. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at JHS Sports with Andy Stenham. Good morning, I'm Andy Sim with the latest Jeff High Sports. The Seymour Sectional Semifinalist in Boys Basketball tomorrow night with Jeff facing Bedford North Lawrence in Game 1 at 6 p.m. Game 2 features Floyd Central versus New Albany with a scheduled tip time of 7.30 p.m. Finals are scheduled for 7.30 p.m. Saturday evening. Tickets will be on sale during lunches today. Softball tryouts will begin on Monday, March 8th at 2.45. We will be meeting in the gym. And all girls interested must have a physical in order to try out. Please see Coach Schaefer in room D209 if you have any questions. And if boys and girls interested in going out for golf, please contact Coach Thompson through the athletic office. Indoor practices are underway. And that's latest Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned. Our final word from the news desk is next. Pass the guacamole. Pass 
the guacamole. Pass the guacamole. Bobby, get in here. T Payne's in our class this morning. Mr. Pavey. Please call me Mark. Okay, Mark. If you were elected, what would be your top three priorities? My first priority will be to begin work on a five-year strategic plan to move test scores to a higher level so we can prepare our children to compete in a 21st century economy. The current GCCS website shows a mission statement and beliefs, but we need a plan with goals, measures, and milestones to ensure our students are improving month after month, year after year. What I bring to the board is over 33 years experience working for a major telecommunications corporation, and I understand the importance of designing a plan, implementing a plan, and sustaining a plan. This district needs to position our children to compete with not only kids from around the state, but around the world for good paying jobs with good benefits. Secondly, during the current economic conditions facing our school corporation, we must examine every option to avoid losing teaching positions from our classrooms. And thirdly, let's make sure the board's focus is not to run the schools, but to ensure the schools are well run. I would appreciate your vote on May the 4th. And finally today, the WJHS report gives you an opportunity to wish happy birthday to that special someone. Please bring six pictures and five dollars to room 713 at least a day in advance. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Rebecca Wolfley. And I'm Chloe Franklin. From all of us here at WJHS, remember your part to make Jeff High School the best school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report.